Hey everybody, it's Dr. Bam. Um, I'm going to get into our next concept. So this um, concept is actually going to reference two things going backwards. One is going to be Piaget's different stages of development. You see this at the bottom, that this helps us understand the different stages that they're in and what occurs during that. But also is a term that you just watched a video on, which I really like how that video breaks down the concept of schema. And, and when we think schema, these are really our categories of knowledge, or knowledge or understanding about everything. I always like to picture it as a file cabinet. It's what our brain has written down. So a dog means these things, right? And we have a little bit of information, you know, four legs, has a tail, barks, and that means it's a dog. And it's how our brain puts together um, an understanding of any individual thing or idea um, in order to uh, help us understand and navigate through the world. Um, and so it's really our brain's efforts to help us understand how our world, world is and make comparisons and create new knowledge, um, according to Jean Piaget. Uh, and so Jean Piaget came up with these two concepts of assimilation and accommodation. So with assimilation, it means that we come across a new experience or we come across a uh, experience with some new information um, and we're able to use our past knowledge um, to understand that situation and to gain knowledge or change knowledge or tweak knowledge um, and assimilate what we're experiencing into it. And so um, our book here talks about you know, children assimilating new tastes and new foods. And so maybe for the first time you try pork, you have a pork chop and your mom cuts it up and you taste it and they say it's like chicken. You're like, hmm, it is kind of like chicken. Or maybe the first time you try turkey, it is kind of like chicken. And so you're like, okay, well, turkey is similar to chicken. It has white meat, tastes kind of, um, it has this type of flavor, right? Um, and all of that. So that is how we assimilate. So we don't have to recreate the idea of meat comes from birds and this is a bird and, and all of that. We can compare it to something that we already understand. So we can say, okay, turkey and chicken is similar, right? They're both birds, they're different sizes, but they're similar. And so now I can say, okay, it's like chicken um, and it's called turkey and it's from a larger bird and I have those concepts, right? So I didn't have to create all new categories or understanding. I already knew what a bird was. I knew what chicken was. I know that meat comes from birds. And so we're able to process that. And so that's that, that, that idea of assimilating or taking in information, comparing it, and grouping it to something we already understand. Um, but there's going to be times in the world um, that both children and adults run into concepts and things that they really don't um, have already, or their concept is completely faulty, right? And so they have to create a brand new schema. Um, and so when we're saying a brand new schema, I mean, when we're talking sensory motor, early childhood, birth through two, these kiddos are creating schemas left and right, right? Um, they're testing, they're theorizing, even though they, you don't see it, they're pushing the ball away from them to see how it rolls, to see if it is ball. They throw a block to see if it bounces like a ball, right? They're trying to test all that knowledge and they are constantly um, having those little file folders pop up and create understanding of the world around them. And when we do this, that's accommodation. It means that I now have to go into what Piaget is going to call disequilibrium. And we're going to see that in a future question, that terminology. We have to go into disequilibrium. And we actually do that a little bit for both assimilation and accommodation. But our brain has to figure out, where does this new knowledge fit? What do I do with this new knowledge? How do I, um, how do I create it? And so as adults, right? We look, and we saw that when um, in the last video when they were talking about the students would um, change the canoe to a rowboat, and they would um, change that they were hunting seal to fishing, right? Because they their brain was working to fit um, the information from that story into the knowledge and understanding that they had about the world around him, around them. Children are able to accommodate more frequently and they build more a new, new schema more often than adults, 
we as adults tend to try to assimilate more, right? We try to take our experience and fit it into our understanding, um, making those comparisons and all of that. Um, but like as I said, as our, our young ones, they're constantly doing this accommodation. And that is actually the building of new knowledge, right? They're taking an understanding and forming that concept of this is what a ball is. You know, a ball has to be round. It has to be a sphere. It has to bounce. Are they using those exact words? Certainly not. Um, but they are, they are forming their conclusion of what, what determines that it's a ball. You know, then they're going to come across um, a pool ball and it's not might possibly not fit their uh, schema, right? So they're going to have to assimilate that pool ball into their idea that all balls bounce. Well, pool balls don't bounce. Well, <laughs> they do initially, right? They bounce about. They're not the type of balls that we use for that type of thing. So the, the, they have a different... Um, feel to them. They have, you know, they're very hard and they can be cold versus, you know, the rubber, which is a different feeling of warmth um, sometimes, especially if it gets going best. And so all of that is occurring through this disequilibrium that occurs when a pool ball does not fit my understanding of what a ball is. So now I have to adjust that some balls don't bounce or some balls are hard um, and all of that type and I have to assimilate that new information to either expand my schema, if you think of it that way, or create a brand new schema of there's different categories of balls. So under balls, I have balls that bounce and balls that don't bounce. Um, and, and I would say, I, I can't say you can't absolutely bounce a pool ball because I have seen them bounce off the table. Um, but just for our, our sake, sake, there are very different types of balls. Um, so once again, assimilation is when we run into an experience, but it has new information, but we're able to make those comparisons to our already developed schema, maybe adjust those schema a little bit and, and develop a new schema. When we are adjusting the schema, we are in what we call disequilibrium, okay? Our brain is out of sorts. It's trying to solve that um, problem of the new knowledge. Once we have come to a conclusion, and it happens very quickly, obviously, then we are back into equilibrium. So it doesn't, we don't stay in that disequilibrium long. With accommodation, it's, hey, this, this new information doesn't fit anything that, that I have. I actually have to create a new schema, a new page of knowledge, right? A new concept for this idea. Um, I'm not able to compare it to something that I already have that understanding of, and that's accommodation. Now, your disequilibrium there may last a little longer, right? Um, you get across that new chemistry term um, or whatever that has no real comparison, it's harder to learn and, and form that concept of it because you, that disequilibrium, you, you might stay in there longer and if it doesn't resolve with an understanding, you might be stuck a little longer in disequilibrium. Or you may have that shift in the schema that's not quite right, right? You may make the comparison that doesn't quite match to it. So remember, schemas are not facts by any ways, but it's the individual's knowledge or understanding of anything, right? Assimilations, when you compare your understanding, you take new information and compare it to something you already know, and you assimilate into your understanding that information, and accommodation is when you have to take in brand new information and create it, that new schema that doesn't exist from prior. Um, and so you're creating that new knowledge. Okay, have fun with your question, and I'll talk to you later.